Hey guys, this is uh, Aaron, and I am in group three. And this presentation is on morphological image processing. So to uh, review, morphological um, processing is just processing tools that are used on binary images, and they're used to either uh, extract or modify information on the shapes or structures that are within the image. And um, as we saw from last class, such operators can be dilation, erosion, the skeletonization, opening and closing, and all the other the other um, types. Um, these operators are nonlinear and are used for filtering, detecting edges of a certain object, or counting objects within the image, um, segmenting the image, reducing the noise, finding the midlines, and also to detect objects within the image. So as I stated above, these operators are used to analyze binary images, but uh, they can also be extended on grayscale images. They can be used as applications to, to analyze um, grayscale images. So now I'm going to talk about uh, morphological sharpening. This is uh, the specific topic that I'm going to be talking about in, uh, in this video. And the, the two techniques that I'm going to be talking about are, is the uh, top hat and the bottom hat transformations. Um, these two transformations are examples of morphological sharpening. And both of these um, transformation techniques are used and executed by either using the opening or closing of the original image. So if you haven't gone over opening and closing, I'm not sure whether it's group one or group two, you might want to um, check that video out before you continue on with this one. Um, these techniques are useful for enhancing detail in an image in a in an image if shading is present. So the combining of image subtraction with opening and closing results in the top hat and bottom hat transformations. The top hat transformation of a grayscale image F is defined as F minus its opening. So the F right here represents the original image and this F open circle B represents the opening of that image. So you're going to subtract the opening from the original. And here's just an easier written out explanation of the equation above. You're, you're subtracting the open opening of image from its original. And that's how you get the uh, top hat transformation. Similarly, the bottom hat transformation of F is defined as the closing of F minus F. Uh, opposed to the top, or to the opening, this uh, circle right here is filled in, so it represents close. So you take the close minus the original. And again, showing you a, an easier written out explanation, just taking the closed image, subtracting it from the original image, and that's how you get the bottom hat transformation. So just with the equations, again, I just want to point out the minor difference between the top hat and the bottom hat. The top hat, you're subtracting the opening from the original, as opposed to the bottom hat, where you're subtracting the original from the closed. So uh, don't forget that little difference. The principal application of these top hat and bottom hat transformations is in removing objects from an image by using a structuring element in the opening and closing operation and it doesn't uh, that doesn't fit in the objects that are being removed um, the difference operation so the subtraction part when we're um, subtracting the 
open from the original for the top and when we're subtracting the original from the closed in the bottom when you do that subtraction the resulting image will um, will will yield an image in which only the removed components remain and that's uh, exactly what you're going for when you do uh, either of these transformations these two transformations have the property of either enhancing the peaks or the valleys by applying the opening or closing operator so when you're enhancing the peaks you're using the opening operator and when you're enhancing the valleys you're using the closed closing uh, operator so after smoothing an image with the opening operation and then when you subtract the original image you will get the enhanced result and I'm going to show you that in a visualization in figure 2 this figure 2 will help visualize uh, what I just said so here is um, some graphs B and F are just the original image it says right here A and E a and E are just the structuring element and C C is what is what happens when you take the opening of this original image and then when you do the subtraction when you subtract this C from this B you get the result and that would be the top hat transformation so as I stated just before when you do the when you when you do the top hat and you're um, using the opening operator you're enhancing the peaks so you can see right here that you're enhancing these peaks right here and you subtract this part out which cuts right here you get just these peaks and you get the resulting uh, enhanced image and this bottom line is kinda of similar but it's using the close so you're enhancing in this case the valleys and that's why you use your closed uh, operator as you, as you just saw the simplification process of the closing operator the bottom hat transform define uh, has the property of enhancing the valleys uh, meaning that the darker regions in the image serve as a better background to help remove There's uh, one thing to point out about the structuring element. So when you're choosing a structuring element, this is uh, very important. If you choose a structuring element that's too small, the background removal is affected by the presence of random noise. If the structuring element is too large, it won't, it cannot reproduce the small scale variations of faint objects. So you have to make sure you choose a, a good structuring element. So if it's too small, there's going to be random noise if it's too large then it'll have no effect on the fainter objects in a in an image an important use of top hat transformation is in correcting the effects of non-uniform illumination uh, proper illumination plays a central role in the process of extracting objects from the background um, the top hat transform is used for light objects on a dark background and the bottom hat transformation is used for the converse. For this reason the names white top hat and black top hat um, are used frequently when referring to both of these transforms. Now I'm going to show you how the top hat transform works using an opening operator on a grayscale image. So this grayscale image here is just a uh, image of grains of rice. This example is actually uh, out of the textbook. It's on page 673 so if you want to follow along with your textbook also uh, that'll work. So this uh, th here's the original image just a grayscale image of uh, grains of rice. The image was obtained under non-uniform lighting as evidence um, by the darker area in the bottom corner here and up 
here there's a it's a lot it's a lot lighter you could kind of tell so you could tell that the image was taken with non-uniform lighting non-uniform illumination and you could tell when you threshold it when you threshold it you could you could tell it's uh, not very good so the net result of the threshold uh, of non non-uniform illumination from the original image caused um, errors in the dark area and you could tell in the bottom corner here that several grains of the rice were not extracted from the background and also in the top corner up here um, parts of the background were misclassified and you kinda got these it looks like uh, paint splatters of the grains of rice so up here um, it miscalculated uh, and down here it didn't even catch it looks about four or five grains of rice so using the uh, top hat transformation we're using the opening operator so we're taking the opening of the original image and again here's the original image with the non-uniform lighting it's a little bright up here and dark down here so we take the opening of the original image which is this and we um, take the opening using a structuring element that's a disk of radius 40 uh, this structure element was large enough so that it would not fit in any of the objects and going back going back to what I said uh, before about the the principal parts of these transformations is to select a structuring element that does not fit in the objects to be removed so the the objects that we don't want or that we that we do want to be removed are the, the the single rice grains and we want to make sure that we choose a structuring element that is big enough that it doesn't fit within within uh, the size of those grains so that we so that way when we do this transformation we can extract it so we're using the opening operator and just to remind you we're gonna um, subtract the opening from the original so here's the opening Here's the original. So when we subtract this opening from this original, this is the result. This is the top hat transformation right here. And if you take a look, you could see that the contrast is a little better, meaning the the um the background was changed and now the image looks a lot more um uniformly illuminated. So then when you take the the um threshold of this result, this top hat transformation you see that the um, that the top left grain the top left corner up here the grains are kind of more clear and there's not that splatter effect there's not that misclassification uh, and down here in the bottom left where it was too dark now it's it's um, bright enough and not so dark and now you could extract these grains so if you take a look at the original threshold and threshold of the um, top hat transformation you get the desired result of the um, rice grains which you originally intended on extracting okay so in closing just to recap again what we did you have you have this original image and um, you want to extract the rice grains but when you take the threshold you see that there is a uh, not the result you want um, and that is due to the original image when it was taken and has these ununiform um, illumination so the background is not uniform throughout the whole entire uh, image that's why you're missing grains here and these grains up in the top where it's too bright it's catching some of that bright light and it's thinking that it's the grain so if you try to erode um, this original image you may get these grains more clear but you'll eliminate these ones down here and that's not the that's not the result you want you want to extract all the rice grains in this image so we chose the op, uh, open operator we chose the the top hat transformation that uses the open operator because this is white objects on a dark background so you take the open subtract it from the original and you get this um, image that has more uniform background so that way when you take the um, threshold you get the desired result